Hi, I'm Isabel McNeil. I'm 17 and I'm a kid contributor with CBC Kids News. I'm about to read you an article that we published on November 17th, 2023. It's about the origin story of Nanalan. Have you heard of Nanalan? You might not know what I mean when I say Nanalan, but you might recognize this. Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? I see it all over TikTok, and it's based on a Canadian kids show. The CBC Kids News article was written by one of my adult colleagues, Angelica Cooper. Angelica interviewed the creators of Nanalan to get the inside scoop on why they think the show has gone viral almost 20 years after its original release. That's all I'm going to tell you. Keep listening for the rest. Who's that wonderful girl? How Nanalan is taking over TikTok 20 years later. Published on November 17, 2023. The creators behind the original Canadian TV show share fun facts. Here's what you need to know. A song from a children's show is all over TikTok. Who's That Wonderful Girl was recorded more than 20 years ago for a show called Nanalan. It has millions of plays and stitches, but did you know that its creators are Canadian? Keep listening to learn more about the show's creators. It's a hard one to get out of your head once you hear it. Who's that wonderful girl? Along with the song comes a green puppet dressed up in a princess costume, wand in hand. She's dancing, floating on your screen as you scroll through TikTok. You ask yourself, could she be any cuter? That sound is getting millions of likes on TikTok. And people are stitching their moments, adding their videos to the original, along with the melody. Turns out that song is Canadian and more than 20 years old. It was part of a children's TV show called Nanalan that aired on YTV and CBC in the late 1990s and early 2000s. In an interview with CBC Kids News, the creators pulled back the curtain on Nanalan's recent success and the story behind the characters. What's the backstory? Nanaland's creators are Jason Hopley and Jamie Shannon, who are both from Toronto, Ontario. The duo created the show in 1999, and it aired on TV for three seasons. The two main characters are Mona, a curious three-year-old who resembles a green pea, and Nana, her grandmother, whom Mona spends time visiting. Mona also spends time with a dog named Russell. The puppeteers approached Nanalan with the wonder and awe of a three-year-old version of themselves, said Hopley. Shannon and Hopley drew inspiration from their own Nanas, too. Both of their Nanas, or grandmothers, collected doodads and gadgets and crafts and whirly gigs, said Hopley. All of that created a sense of wonder and wow for their three-year-old selves. The show focuses on the joy and discovery that can be found in Nana's house or backyard. Every little moment has details in it that are wonderful and exciting to a three-year-old, things that adults just miss completely, said Shannon. He added, But to a little kid, there's magic in dust dancing in a sunbeam. There's magic of what the wood grain looks like in a table leg. The show's name, Nanalan, actually comes from Shannon's family who refers to visits to his Nana's house as going to Nana's land, or in this case, Nanalan. Going viral years later. Back when Shannon and Hopley created Nanalan, Hopley joked about trying to save the world with puppets. Now, more than 20 years later, their puppets are helping others come together in the millions. Nanalan, which was airing on TV before the internet was mainstream, is finding success online. Shannon uploaded the full version of the song on TikTok on October 28th. It has been played more than 2.4 million times. Other versions of the song began appearing on the platform before them and have been viewed millions of times. He compares the TikTok success to a rocket ship. Just wild, he said. The trend involves pairing Who's That Wonderful Girl with something relatable where you want to be encouraged for doing a good job. The comments on TikTok are overwhelmingly positive, and for Shannon, they represent a whole community of people coming together. 
Something goes viral, and when you start to see the numbers, you're like, it seems really weird, said Shannon. It has been astounding. Hopley and Shannon said the message they want Nanaland to teach others is one of joy. It's really easy to get bogged down by the 24-hour news channel of terribleness, right? So to keep yourself joyful by seeing what's beautiful in the details is what I think resonates, said Shannon. Never-ending Nanaland facts. Ever wonder why Mona doesn't have a nose? Hopley said it was because he was inspired by a book called Understanding Comics, The Invisible Art by Scott McCloud. In the book, the author describes that when we think about ourselves, we think of eyes and a mouth. Plus, he said it's easier to relate to a character who isn't too detailed. The magical world of Nanalan was actually filmed in a big old warehouse in Toronto. It was a really gross warehouse, but we made a delightful world within that gross warehouse. There was like dead pigeons over in the next room, said Hopley. A common mistake is calling the main character by the wrong name. The show's main character is Mona, not Nanalan. This article was written by Angelica Cooper and read by me, Isabel McNeil. Did you enjoy listening to this article? Send us your feedback at cbckidsnews at cbc.ca. And check out our website for more great articles. Bye!